Hi guys, welcome. This is a tutorial on how to deposit and withdraw chain tokens from the platform without having to pay Ethereum gas fees. As you can see right now, um, the deposit on the chain games platform on the wallet is a contract interaction. So if we go to Uniswap, it's also a contract interaction. And we can see the price, $107 for gas fees. This is ridiculous. This would mean that you would have to pay at least, in the best of chances, like $70 in Ethereum to deposit and withdraw your chain tokens from our platform. So this is not ideal. Let's just drop this and we'll go over to our wallet. Some of you might not be aware that uh, when you create an account and deposit chain tokens, you're not actually depositing on the platform itself. You are migrating it to uh, Matic Network, where we build upon. So I have one two 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 chain. If we go to Chaino, it's the same balance. Any game that you play in chain games, your balance will be there. So what does it mean, uh, not depositing on the platform itself? It, it means that you're actually migrating it to Matic. And if you go to your networks and choose Matic mainnet, you will see that you have actually in your wallet one two 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 chain. See the same as you had here. When you change the network, it goes away. Put in Ethereum. 1222 chain we go back to matic mainnet and what does this mean this means that your token never actually leaves your wallet okay so now the thing is uh the only way that you can do this right now is by using a uh, matic bridge okay so over here you can swap from ethereum to matic and vice versa but this is also a contract interaction and this is also going to cost you around a uh, hundred dollars so this is not what we want. What we want is a real solution, and I think I found it. So you have your your tokens deposited in chain games, okay? It's right here. So you go to Matic's quick swap and you swap all your chain tokens to Matic. Okay, bear with me. You swap it all to Matic. You pay about 0 0.0003 cents for this transaction. So it's not even a cent, just a little fraction. And now you go to your wallet and you'll see that you have a ton of Matic and no chain. If you go to your uh, wallet right now and you go to Ethereum network, you'll see that you have no chain in your game account. See, I didn't even have to press withdraw, pay no Ethereum fees. Okay, it's gone. Uh, gone, but not gone. It's traded to Matic, as we can see here, right? So let's just forget this for now. And let's go to the solution itself, BitMax. Now, I'm going to be honest, I heard mixed reviews about this, and I personally do not like at all the fees that they charge. If you go to your margin account, they don't need KYC if you trade less than two bitcoins a day. If you withdraw it, you don't need KYC. So why don't I like this? Let's just uh, find a token to exemplify. Crow, for example. Sorry. Withdraw. Crow. God damn it. Crow, bro. So the fee is 332. Oof, Crow. This is the money that they charge you to be able to withdraw it. Now let's go check out Crow from crypto.com. Awesome platform. 332. This is $68, man. Uh, $68 is as much as the Ethereum fees almost. So this would pro practically mean nothing for you guys. Except that if you go to BNB withdraw you'll see that it's only 0 0.005 bnb so let's go here to bnb to find out how much this is 0 0.005 two dollars okay 2.6 dollars nothing to do with the the, the previous 60 dollars so if you choose matic itself you'll also see that it's only one matic from fee if we go to matic you'll see that one matic is 34 cents so what are we going to do Keep in mind, don't 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 lose track of what we're doing. We um, went to Quick Swap. We found the chain tokens from our gaming wallet. They are in your MetaMask wallet at all times, and we swapped it for Matic. Now we have Matic. Now I'm going to go here and press Deposit. I'm going to press Matic. Select Matic, and I'm going to copy the address. No, no, sorry, for Matic Network. This is very important, or you might lose everything. You select Matic Network, copy, and you're going to go over here to. Matic, send, paste the address, send it all except for one. I always leave one because Matic is what pays the, the fees. And we're good to go. So this is probably going to take a little bit, not the Matic itself, but uh, depositing in an exchange might take some time, so I'm going to pause this for a while. I'll just like to also uh, remind you of one very important thing. To withdraw Matic while you only pay one matic fee the minimum withdrawal is 394 this is a lot okay this is 
Uh, how much is it? 394. This is $134. This is not for them. This is not a fee. The fee is down here, only 34 cents. Uh, what this means is that you can only withdraw from here if you um, withdraw at least $134. So if you've got like $50 in your gaming account, you can't do this. I mean, you can leave it in the exchange or you may swap for another coin, whatever, or you might just accumulate it here. But to do business here, like if you want to deposit money into chain games or withdraw from your wallet in chain games and not pay $100 Ethereum fees, you will have to do at least $134. Now I had a thousand Matic, so yeah, man, that, that's that's going to cover it. Uh, the, this transaction I'm going to do um, will be enough for them to allow me to withdraw it. And since I'm going to use BNB, let's see also the minimum amount. Yeah, 0 0.1. This is like, I don't know, $40 minimum. So to withdraw Binance from their exchange, uh, $53. This is not to pay them. To pay them, you'll pay $2.60. Uh, what this means is that you have to have at least uh, $53 of BNB to be able to withdraw it. Now, uh, the transfer is underway. The Matic to the exchange. I got one, so it's probably done. Yeah, it's approved. Now I need to go to my total assets and I'll just wait until I see this amount here rise. Okay, so now our Matic has arrived from uh, what used to be chain tokens in our wallet in Matic Network, and we spent around um, less than a cent to send it here. So now we'll trade it to USDT and sell Matic. Let's see, um, this exchange is a little funky because you can slide this all the way up to uh, 3000 Matic. I'm, I'm, I think this might be have to do something to do with leverage and stuff like that. So just to avoid uh, any confusion, you got 1042, let's sell 1042. Okay, so sell Matic. You click this one right here if you're in a rush. So I should have done that because I don't feel like waiting. So yeah, let's just do that. Press this one right here, press the P and Selmatic. Okay, should be done like in a second. Field quantity, okay. So now if we go to our margin account, you'll see that I have now USDT. Now I'll trade it to BNB. Okay, so I got uh, $340. I'll just press this one right here and go to $340. Unfortunately, this slider kind of sucks. You might have to do it manually. So yeah, buy BNB, you gotta wait for it to fill out. It's already filled. So now in our margin account, you got your BNB. Then you will go here to transfer. You'll see that you have zero, so you have to swap this from your trading account to your cash account, and you'll select all. Confirm to transfer. Now you've got your BNB ready to withdraw. Okay, so now you don't even have to go here. You can just press withdraw, select BNB, copy your address here. If you go to Binance Smart Chain, you'll see that it's the same address. Select BEP20, Binance Smart Chain, paste the address, your address. Select all and good to go. Now what's going to happen, since I just signed into this exchange, it won't allow me because um, as you can see, new users cannot withdraw until 24 hours post registration. So yeah, man, that's cool. This is how you're going to do it. So if you want to do the opposite, all you will have to do, if you want to deposit money into chain games to play games, what you have to do is um, deposit it to this exchange, the, the amounts that you want. So um, let's go over here to cash and deposit and let's choose whatever token you have let's say bnb you press deposit it will give you your uh that 20 binance smart chain address you copy it you go here you go to your binance smart chain up top you press bnb you press send you paste that address and you choose let's just show you how it's done like the whole thing send you paste the address you select the tokens you want i don't recommend sending it all because bnb uh, is what's used to pay the gas fees so i'd like change this for a little zero right here and next then you will have your um, BNB back on your um, exchange then you go to transfer to send it to cash from cash to margin so you can actually trade it for Matic so you'll do this um, you'll confirm it and you will have it in your margin account in margin account you will have your BNB around here at the top and you press trade you got to trade, you have to trade your BNB for USDT. After you do it, the same way I showed you before, you go to USDT and Matic. Okay, you choose Matic, 
you will buy Matic, you slide this over to match the amount of dollars here that you have here, see, boom, and you'll buy Matic, okay? Then after this is done, you go to your total assets, you will transfer this again to, you go to Matic, you'll trade it from your margin account, the trading account into your cash account, press all, confirm the transfer, and you will see it here, right here. When here, you will press Matic, you'll type Matic, you'll press withdraw, and see Matic Network, very important. You'll go here to your account. As I've said before, this is the same address as if you choose, select a different sidechain, like Matic Magnet. You see that the account is the same. Um, you'll get this, you'll paste it, and you'll select all. Okay, the fee is one Matic, confirm. After a few minutes, uh, it will be back on your Matic mainnet account. You will go back to Chain Games and you will see it here without the need of depositing it or paying any kind of gas fee. So, from what I was able to, to account for, uh, this whole operation might have cost me around maybe one dollar, if, if that much. Okay, so I think this is a great solution. It's totally better to pay one, two dollars max than a hundred dollars. So I hope this helps you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'm always glad to help. Thanks, guys.